It's important to get the shape of the head just right, and the lips and mustache too. Selçuk Erdem can practically draw the Turkish president in his sleep. He has years of practice. Erdem is one of Turkey's most well-known political cartoonists. His satire magazine, called Penguin, is an institution. But Erdem finds himself in a tight spot. In this sarcastic caricature, President Erdogan is portrayed celebrating press freedom in Turkey. Reality is quite the opposite. Ama Satire is critical by its very nature. Satire expresses what no one has the nerve to say out loud. But the staff at Penguin magazine has to be careful, because some people find the very idea of caricature is an insult. The magazine's biting images have triggered a few lawsuits over the years, and every trial is costly. Given Turkey's economic crisis and a drop in the newspaper ad business, Penguin magazine is in dire straits. This edition is one of the last to go to press. It's no secret that newspapers have to fight harder to retain their readership. It's a challenge faced by journalists all around the world. In addition to this, reporters here in Turkey are under increasing political pressure. And many of them have to make a choice. Either stay critical and risk problems with the authorities, or just keep quiet. But some journalists are undaunted. Doan Akın is editor-in-chief at T24, one of the only independent online news outlets left in Turkey. He is convinced that the government and its supporters are using existing laws to target journalists they don't like. Whenever a reporter is arrested for writing or saying something critical, it sends a message to thousands of other journalists. You could be next. And that's how you end up with self-censorship. Does he ever think about giving up? Never. Aside from the fact that I can't do anything else, I think journalists in Turkey have never been as important as they are right now. Are we worried? Absolutely. But that's no reason to keep our heads down and hide. We will serve as journalists as long as we can. Selçuk Erdem isn't giving up either. Even if his magazine has to fold, he's not putting down his pen. He and his staff have created an app for their political cartoons, which have already gone viral. Now the Penguin brand of satire has a good chance of survival.